Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Midland Community Stadium for the 2015 Dow High homecoming game. It's the Dow High Chargers hosting Flint Powers in a, a big Saginaw Valley Blue Division matchup. Both teams 3-1 and one coming into this contest. Hi, I'm Dave Marsh bringing you tonight's action along with the old ball coach, Frank Aldemore. And a uh, beautiful night here at the stadium, Coach, and uh, we're looking forward to which promises to be a pretty good matchup. Dave, this matchup will probably determine the division winner in, uh, in, in Saginaw Valley. Both teams are 3-1, and one, as you said. Both teams are pretty good ball, ball clubs. Uh, they're very similar in their actions. Uh, they play good offense, play good defense. Both have great coaches, so we're looking forward to a great game tonight. Yeah, a highly anticipated matchup, um, and uh, we're we're going to send it down to the field for the Dow High Marching Band as they play the national anthem. Conduct the Star Spangled Banner. Great job by the Dow High Marching Band. Over 250 strong coach. Very impressive to see the band out there in the field. That, that big block D out there in the pregame. Beautiful band. Beautiful wow. music. Excellent. And a powerful sound. Very powerful. Great job by, by the Dow High Marching okay. Band. And we're going to head into the homecoming game here today. And coach, uh, Let's, uh, let's talk about the keys of the game here for, well, for both teams. Well, I think each time we, uh, we set up and we try to take a look at what these keys are going to be, and it's interesting to see how they unfold as the game goes on. For Dow, we have, we have three, and we have three for each team here. The first one for Dow is to move the chains. Uh, they just have to be able to keep control of the ball, get first downs, wait for their opportunity to score, and then take advantage of it. And then secondly, they have to control the line of scrimmage. I mean, Dow has not done that in their game so far. Uh, they've been unable to control it. They've been able to the score, but not really control that line of scrimmage. And then here's the last one I like the best. Score early, score often, and, and you cannot lose. That's, that's, a, that's a big deal. For Powers, they have to make big plays on defense. They have to force man to move his feet, force him to throw the ball on the move, and when he does that, he's a little susceptible to an interception. And they have to have some success. Dow's weakness this year has been versus run teams. And they need success with that run offense. And, and this is a big one. And this is one that Powers really works hard at, at trying to do. But in a game against Dow could happen. No turnovers. As we said, both teams are 3-1. and one. Uh, Dow lost, or Powers lost to Flushing 27-11. Midland lost to Mount Pleasant 34-20, but that game was not even that close. It was, it was 27 nothing going into the fourth quarter. Uh, last week, Dow uh, was victorious over Southwestern in a relatively easy game. Powers was victorious over Davison in a 10-0 game that was a little closer than what was expected. And so the Dow High offense will take the ball first. The low line drive kickoff fielded by Johnny Wilson. At around the five, Wilson around the left end, still on his feet, spins all the way past the 30-yard line for a pretty good field position for the Chargers. 
as they take over on the first possession of the game. Now, I think Johnny Wilson is one of the best punt and kickoff return guys in the league. And the reason for that is he does see the opening. He sees the opening, gets in the opening, and goes. And that's a, a big element for him. I, I really like him. I think he's going to be a great player as the year goes on. Dow High, the number one ranked offense in the Saginaw Valley League Blue Division, coming in with 1,369 yards, taking on the Flint Powers defense, which is ranked number one. They've only yielded 585 yards so far on the season. Bruce Mann, the junior quarterback, will keep the ball, go around the left end, and will pick up about three, maybe four, on the first down play. Bruce Mann uh, has just been outstanding this year, uh, completing nearly 63% of his passes, 860 yards passing. He's thrown for 11 TDs, only two interceptions, and so he's really made a big impact since uh, transferring over from Bay City Western here in his first year at the helm as the uh, Charger quarterback. Three wide outs split wide to the right, including uh, the big target, Mike Robb, number one, far to the right. Man's going to keep it again. This time, nothing doing. And uh, he's actually going to lose a couple to bring up uh, third and eight. That defensive front, and I talked about this earlier, the defensive front for Powers is, is very strong. Uh, Tolbert is 252, and, uh, and he's, he's a horse in there. Yeah, he's, 55. he's right in the center of that. Uh, Coach Jason Watkins mentioned earlier in the week that uh, he is a load on that defensive line. So passing situation here on third and long. Man barking up the signals, goes back to pass, looking downfield. And he's looking for Rob. He's got him a beautiful pass hauled in by Rob. Right, uh, nice touch pass right over the defender. Hit the 6'6", 215 senior Mike Robb for a big gain into Flint Powers now, territory. It was very interesting. Dow lined Robb up in the slot that time, so they couldn't take advantage of, of manning him up and doubling him up as teams have done this year. Now he's back in his regular formation as a wideout. So big play for the Dow offense as they have their opening position. Out to Devante Stein on a bubble screen, snuffed out nicely over there by the secondary for Flint Powers. Look now that play had all the look of a big score and Powers just ran so quick to it. They destroyed the blocking and got into the play and ended up with a two or three yard gain when it looked like to me in the beginning it was gonna go for a long distance. Really great play by free safety Matt Whisker, number 12, to uh, hold that to minimal gain. Second and seven. Cook in motion, swings it out. It's a technically run. He's going to throw it. He's got a man wide open. And he's got Mike Robb. And another big gain, a little razzle-dazzle. He threw it kind of up for grabs, but uh, Robb at 6'6", knew it was coming. The defender did not. That, that was not your best pass in the world, but a 6'6", against a 5'6", works every time. And so Dow High... First and 10 on the Flint Powers 17 yard line. Remember what we talked about, score early, score often. Right now, Johnny Wilson has not touched the football. And it, we're now under center, which is kind of a different look for Dow. Handoff to Stevenson, and he's, uh, that is snuffed out. Great job by the defender. That's uh, number 56 uh, for Powers, KJ Medley. 5'10", 205, that was a pretty nice play. Stevenson, uh, uh, he's just a bull out there at well, 6'1", yeah. 220. Medley just blew the whole thing up. He took the offensive lineman and pushed him into the backfield and right into the ball carrier. Loss of three on the play, bring up second and 13. Rob out to the right. Wilson goes in motion. Oh, good job by the defense. This time he throws it, throws it away, really. Excellent job by the uh, Powers de defense. It was gonna be a swing pass to Wilson, and Bruce Mann wisely held up on the throw because that was gonna get picked off if he threw it. Saw the play wasn't there and uh, just threw that one away. I really like the quickness of Powers. Uh, not only are they uh, aggressive, but they also seem to be in the right spot at the right time. Third and long, fake handoff. 
He's going deep again for Rob, and it is picked off but out of bounds. It was caught, defended nicely by Luke Bursick, but he came down out of bounds. It'll bring up fourth and 13. They just try to take advantage of that uh, the height situation that Rob provides. Again, mentioned at 6-2. Bruce Mann, uh, the quarterback, no slouch himself, 6-2, 210, is, uh, is a good-sized quarterback for the Chargers. Wilson in motion to the left. And he throws it up for Cook and broken up on fourth down. A little bit too high. And Cook unable to bring it down as uh, uh, Lazaric Hill breaks it up for Flint Powers. And Flint Powers will take over on downs. Now see, to me, that was a lost possession. Uh, and as I said earlier, I thought Dow had to score early and score off. And that score right there, the inability to make that score, could be crucial as we go into the game here. And so, first and 10. 9.02 remaining here in the first quarter. A lengthy drive for the Chargers stalls. This time Powers will take over and it is uh, passed on the flat. Great job defensively by Justin Cook as he hauls down uh, Reese Morgan for about a four yard gain. Justin Cook, I think, is the best defender out there. He's, he really he has a, that glue tendency. Yeah. He finds his guy and stays with him all the way. Quick shovel, and uh, he mentioned Cook, and he blows that play up as well. Cook with uh, two big defensive plays to start play for the Charger defense. Uh, Cook, very good athlete, um, a tremendous receiver for the Chargers, and as, as we've seen in this first series, uh, an impact player on defense as well. Noah Sargent, back he's gonna keep it, and that's blown up a, as well. A host of Chargers snuffed that out. Um, Spencer Halbert leading the charge, but uh, a lot of green surrounding Sargent, and that's gonna bring up fourth and nine. This is one of those examples where an up-tempo offense, no huddle, uh, just doesn't didn't work and Dow was more prepared than Powers was. Powers looked a little bit confused. Now we have an offsides. The Chargers were confused there. The, the quarterback's the punter and he kind of is in shotgun formation. Kind of makes you wonder if they're gonna punt or not. And he, when he, they ch shifted to go back to punt and uh, it uh, threw off the Charger defensive line. It'll step off five yards, still Bree fourth and four punting situation for the Flint Powers Chargers from their own 26 yard line. Doesn't go back very far to punt. A high kick fielded by Justin Cook at the 31. Darts up the middle. Nice return by Cook out to about the 47 yard line. And so the Dahai offense stalled, but defense came up three good, and out, good, ball right back in good field position. Good defense gives you good good plays and good field position for Dow. Talk about those Dow receivers. Rob leads the way with 16 catches, 240 yards, but uh, Devontae Stein has 12 catches, four touchdowns. Cook also with eight catches on the year, 152 yards and four TDs. Man's gonna keep it, he's got room to run. Sheds a tackler, still on his feet, down the right sideline, finally run out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Just shows good savvy there with the run, found the hole, broke a tackle, cut it outside. We'll take another look at this one. This is a good play right here. He finds it in the hole, he breaks a tackle on the line of scrimmage. A good block by Mike Robb, and right here it's just Good move. Good move. First and 10, Dow High. Huss in motion. Same play, the left side. And man, still on his feet, finally hauled down. Late flag. I think there's going to be a face mask on Flint Powers. They're going to be marking off this penalty. Good hard run by man. He's tough to bring down. Well, he's not exactly a little guy. <laughs> he's not. Yeah, he's you know, he's 6'2", he's 2'10", and a strong 2'10". He is Dow High's leading rusher coming in, 204 yards rushing, four touchdowns, 
5.4 yards per carry. Johnny I, Wilson, you mentioned, has four TDs, averaging nearly eight yards a carry. I was down on the field last year at Bay City Western, and when they came on the field for their pregame and stood next to stood next to man, and I said, this is one big quarterback. And he, he's big all over. First and 10 now from the 14. Mac, he's going to keep it. Quarterback draw, nowhere to run. That defensive line just uh, converged on man. Who's man was, on uh, number 56 For again in there, K.J. Medley. Down by number 56, K.J. Medley and number 53. 53, Chris Figgins also in on the tackle. There's a, they have a lot of big guys on Flint Powers. They do. Both, both sides of the ball. Right now they're pretty much controlling the line of scrimmage up front. Second and 13. Trips left. This time Johnny Wilson's got the ball, goes left. Kicks it out to the left, tries to break free, but nothing doing the safety again. Matt Whisker, he's 6'3", 180, snuffed that one out. And uh, Wilson's got those quick feet. He's pretty slippery out there, but just unable to get away from Whisker. And uh, got down to the, looks like the 13. Officials are discussing something. I didn't really see flag in the play. There is a flag in the play. Personal foul against Dow. Oh, both ways. That'll offset. Must have been a little extracurricular activity at the end of that play. See if we can take another look at this one. Is hands it off to Wilson. He breaks left. I think the two players the running two out blockers. onto the track. <laughs> yeah. the, the wide receiver and the DB. That's like a pillow they were, fight. They were <laughs> that's a pillow fight. Playing to I mean, the whistle. Yeah, that's a pillow fight. Devontae Stein to the left. Cook, Huss, Rob out to the right, as is Johnny Wilson. Man by himself in the background. He's going to check the play, and they're going to call timeout. They're going to getting late in the play clock. He looked over, and Coach Watkins uh, calls timeout with 5.58 remaining here. In the first quarter, we are scoreless. Dow High on the move. You're watching this Flint Powers versus H.H. Dow High homecoming football game on MCTV. Messages on Charter Communications, cable channel 189 in Midland. You can also find MCTV under channel 99 on AT&T's U-verse. This game will be cable cast on upcoming dates, as you can see on your screen. Uh, Friday, September 25th at 11. Saturday, September 26th, and Sunday, September 27th at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. More dates and times to follow next week on MPS TV 190 or check the Midland Public Schools website, www.midlandps.org. MCT volunteers and staff will also videotape Midland High's homecoming game next week and Midland vs. Dow swimming, volleyball, and football later in October. Lots of sports action coming your way on MCTV. So here we go with third and nine for Dow High. This is where they got last drive installed. Let's see if they can punch it in this time. Man's gonna keep it. Stevenson the lead blocker. Man trying to pick his way. Good hard run, but gonna be shy of the first down. It's gonna I mean, a decision point, here because it's going to be fourth this, and three. This is the weakness in the Dallas system, that the quarterback is your running back as opposed to having a running back that carries the ball. And, yes, he's a good runner, but, you know, you know where the ball is. He has it. And and it, we've, we've gone to that too many times so far. And we, we're not able to control the front, front four, front three. I'm going to call it fourth and four here. Man barking the signals, trying to drum off. And man's going to keep it again. And he drives ahead, cuts up, touchdown, Chargers. Great job by man. Faked the handoff to Wilson. Saw the hole. Good awareness by man. He cut back up and drove into the end zone for the Dow High TD. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. That's a great effort by man. He, he broke the tackle of uh, Tom Bubine. You'll see it right here. He has him dead to rights. That's a good linebacker, and he just arm tackles him and 
lets it out of the way, and man makes advantage of it and goes in the end zone. It was big because it was going to, he had a chance to, uh, uh, it was fourth down, makes the tackle, no touchdown. He doesn't, touchdown Chargers, and the extra point up and good. That's Johnny Wilson with the extra point. Eric Huss on the hold, and uh, Spencer Stevenson is the long snapper. And Dow High takes 7 0 lead. Well, you here in you have to appreciate the fact that Dow has dominated the game so far. They have. You know, the first, this whole first quarter, they've had great field position to start off with, and both the kickoff and then the punt return. And Powers has done nothing offensively in their three plays, even though they tried an up tempo. And the answer is, can you stop man right now? You know, can Not you stop so far. It? Can you stop his passing? Can you stop his throwing? I mean, you stop his running? Let's, let's this should be the touchdown right here. And you'll see the linebacker slides out. He's got perfect position. And now he's frustrated at himself <laughs> for, for overrunning the play. Really good job by the offensive line for Dow on that. Basically uh, left a one-on-one -on -one situation there, and man won that battle. Johnny Wilson with the kickoff. High and short, fielded at the 14-yard line. Let me try to run right and uh, haul down on that return. Look like uh, Eric Huss, Andrew Bartos in on the tackle. And, One thing uh, we're going to see tonight, Dave, and that is we're going to watch tackling because every, that's the big emphasis right now this year in football. And we're going to see how many upper body tackles there are and lower body tackles. And this has become very crucial. Eyes to the thighs is the new word in football. Two are very good at that. Are the middle inside linebackers, Brad Drankpool and Spencer Stevenson. Fumble! The ball still loose! And Dow High recovers! It looks like a bad snap. And uh, that was the aforementioned Spencer Stevenson alertly pouncing on the ball. No, the quarterback just dropped the snap. It was good. It took his eyes off it, tried to gain it. Stevenson saw it loose, dove ahead. It kept squirting, and the uh, good man, powerful move by Stevenson. He was not going to be denied. Stevenson's a real football player. That ball may be a de he, been he deflated. Might be, he might be the best linebacker in the league. He is a beast. And uh, here we go, Dow High, first and 10 on the 20. They're going to go deep over the middle. Caught, Eric Haas, touchdown. Just like that, they go for the jugular after the uh, turnover. Man finds Huss, leaps in the air, hauls it in, takes it in for the score. Okay, two of, two of our, we'll look at the replay here because this is an outstanding pass right now. This is, this is Bruce Mann at his best. Sets up, throws a nice smooth level pass, great catch by Huss, and in the end zone, right into the seam. One of the things we talked about earlier points of emphasis is try not to have any turnovers, powers, they did. Dow, score early and often, they have. Sure have, and Johnny Wilson adds another point to the scoreboard. It is now 14-0 Dow. Take a look at it once again. Man throws a nice catchable ball, don't, wouldn't you say? I mean, a beautiful spiral. Right there, easy to haul in. Huss smells the end zone. And uh, Chargers go up by two touchdowns. You know, I, li I like to play by powers, except one thing you want to take a look at. They are not making man move his feet. There's no pressure on him. Either from the outside, I mean, they're dropping the outside linebackers off. The three down guys are controlling their gap, but that's it. There's no pressure at all on him. They're not making him move his feet. And teams that have had success against Dow have made man move his feet. Eric Huss, his first TD via the air on the season. He now has 11 catches and the touchdown. Good kickoff by Johnny Wilson, fielded around the five. Darts up the middle and uh, hauled down. Good coverage by the Charger defense. And I see there's an example of what we we're talking about on tackling. That was an eyes to the thigh tackle. And when you do that, you go down right now. 
Yeah, there's Whereas no. opposed to a jump on the back, cow, we call it a cowboy tackle. You know, try to jump on the back of the calf and last <laughs> right, and right. wrestle them down. The Dow High secondary, Josh Reitma, senior number five. He's at safety, as is number 23, Jimmy McDonald. Back to Pasco Sargent. Hauled down. Spencer Halbert with the sack. Also in that secondary, number six, Jared Muhammad. We mentioned Justin Cook. Huss is back there as well. Outstanding coverage by Dow. Garrett Johnson on the defensive line, as is Devin Anzerut. Second and 11, Sargent back to pass. He's going deep and throws it out. Pretty good coverage by uh, Jared Mohammed. It was intended for Whisker. Really not much chance for success on that one. Bring up third and 11. Can't go have gone any better for the Dow defense than it has so far. There's a three and out turnover. Right now they have third and long. Flint Powers, a balanced attack. Handoff, runner goes left. And oh, he's got room to run. Dances along the sideline. And uh, finally run out of bounds. That was Reese Morgan with the big game. Looked like it was gonna be snuffed out, but he uh, showed some quick feet getting to the outside. Dances along the sidelines and moves the chains. As we take a look at the the game tonight, again, this is uh, Dave Marsh bringing you the action with Frank Aldemore. We've been doing this for many years. Another great night. Sergeant drives ahead, going to pick up eight or nine on the play. That uh, one run there looks like it may have given a little life to Well, it the gave powers. them some sort of field position, and that's what they haven't had. That's the only one play they've had, except for this eight yard run right here. Little swing pass, and uh, broke a couple tackles, still on his feet. Good fight by, uh, that was 43, Kelson Connors. It's first down. And he's gonna move the chains. Yes, he is. That was some great effort on the part of Connors. He was converged by Green, and he was—he just kept driving. Good credit. First and ten at the 46 for Flint Powers. Sergeant back to pass. He's got time. Downfield, deep, and overthrows Whisker. Well covered there by Reitma. And uh, really threw that one into coverage. Bring up second and 10. Doesn't seem Whisker has the same type of weapons that Dow has no. in re as receivers. No. And Sergeant's going to keep it. Trying to run right and met at the line. Dow secondary and linebackers, they are quick. They are good. They really do fill holes. He's going to end up picking up a couple of yards. Looked like uh, Halbert again in on the stop. He's a senior. Plays on the offensive line as well as linebacker. Third and eight for Flint Powers. Dow High on top, 14-0. Just over two and a half to go here in the first quarter. This is Dow High homecoming game, 2015. Uh, great start for the Dow High Chargers. Sergeant back to pass, ball sails high. He was looking for 23, Hunter Kenrick, but uh, no chance on that one to bring up fourth and eight. See, every one of Sergeant's throws have been forced, and if you notice, his elbow is low. So that lets the ball sail a little bit. The, the, the smoothness is not there. Fourth and eight, Justin Cook back to receive the punt. And Dahai jumps off sides again, second time on that punt situation. 
they need to be a little more disciplined there. Mm -hmm. Powers, you mentioned, you can see they kind of line up in the shotgun, well, give it a little it, look, and they might go for not it. Not like they haven't seen it on film. It's not like they haven't practiced it during the week. It's, a, it's just flat out lack of discipline. So now it's down to the 44, and I think Powers uh, is going to go, go for, for it. it. Interesting formation here. This is their double wing, two tight end. This is their run formation for them. You think they got Doral Tolbert, their nose guard, at the uh, fullback this is a position. Run formation for them. They're, they're playing on him. Uh, Blowing somebody up. Dow didn't like the look, so Jason Watkins calls timeout just to make sure they talk about this and uh, and try to uh, know what they're doing on the defensive end. So we talked about Stevenson, the linebacker, at the uh, they opened the season against Mount Pleasant, and uh, Bow is returning punt and. He hit a kid who was trying to make the tackle. I still don't know if the Mount Pleasant player knows uh, what planet he's on. This Stevenson, is, is his father, Scott Stevenson, played linebacker for me at Dow in the 80s. He was an outstanding linebacker, went to Indiana, was an outstanding, he's our sheriff today. Right. And uh, the boy is, is all of his father. In fact, I told his father that he's a lot better. <laughs> Well, here we go, fourth and three. Flint Powers trying to keep the drive alive. Pitch left, trying to get the edge. No, nothing doing. What a play Mohammed. by Jared Muhammad. Muhammad did a great job. He Just read it. Job. He ran it down and made the tackle. Muhammad with a huge defensive play, and Dow High will take over. Wow, that was a this great defensive a great play. play by Mahomes. Come out, makes the tackle. Watch how the tackle is, though. It's not high. It's perfect. It's in position, and he got him right down. He wasn't going to miss it. Down, no, nope. wasn't going to miss it. So Dow High takes over ahead, 14 nothing here, late in the first quarter. See if they can continue to move the ball. The offensive lineman they sent out there. Um, Ryan Mary, Brad Drankpool, Spencer Hulbert, Travis Wilford, Cesar Gonzalez, Kevin Murray all seeing action. Justin Cook with the reception, just tripped up. Another well-thrown ball by Mann. Um, Matt Whisker saved the touchdown. We've mentioned Whisker a lot. Sure Watch how nice, out there. and again, no pressure. And a good protection, nice throw into the seam. And Whisker saves the touchdown. First and 10 now at the 36. Man's going to keep it. Drives ahead. Good power run. He's uh, squatted on by Tolbert, but not before he picks up three on the play. I think I try to figure a way of blocking Tolbert better than what, what's going on because he is... He's a force in the middle. Or don't run there. <laughs> Center for Dow, Zachary Peterson. Man, going deep. Look for Stein, just overthrown. He had a step. Man, just overthrew the outstretched arm of Stein. He's kind of mad at himself right here. He had a real shot at that one. Kevin Murray, number 77 on the old line, 6'3", 220 on that right tackle position. Third and seven for Dow, minute and a half to go in the quarter. They've been successful on third and long so far. Back to pass is Mann. Over the middle, got robbed, got a first down. See, as a whole, there was a, a tremendous difference in that pass as to the one that was just passed before that. That pass had a little zip on it and was right in, in the wheelhouse of Rob. Do you see it right here? The last pass it was a soft pass, more like a touch pass. And, you know, it just, it, there are times for a touch pass, and there are times when you got to get some giddy up on it. Put the giddy up on that, and the Dow offense 
is Gideon up all the way down to the 19. Knocking on the door again. Pitch. Johnny Wilson rolls right. Rob with the block on the edge. Wilson scampers ahead. Uh, not a huge game, but still is going to pick up about five on the play. He does have quick feet, doesn't he? He does. He does. And so, uh, Flint, when you watch this in the early going, Flint Powers is a big problem with Rob, I think, here. They don't oh, have the I, height to they, match up at all. Man can find him, put it on the money. Rob's got great hands. See, I think the same thing is out there with Devontae Stein. He's being covered by a guy 5'7". So, I mean, you got two big, you got two giant receivers. It really makes a big difference. There's Wilson Johnny Wilson the in ball, the end zone. Into the end zone. Follows the block of Justin Cook. Touchdown, Chargers. I see, I like that play a lot better than the toss. Because in order to do the toss, you have to go under the center. If you go under the center, you're telling everybody it's a run. Whereas here, it comes right out of the shotgun. You got a lead blocker out in front who makes a great block on the corner. Johnny Will, this is what Johnny Wilson does best. He sees the opening and and he has another gear that gets him going. Good job downfield blocking by the wide receivers, both uh, Rob and Cook making their blocks. And uh, Wilson follows them into the end zone. Kick up by Wilson is good. Huss with the hold. Stevenson with the snap and the Chargers, just like that, have scored early and often, Coach. Well, this is the best I've seen Dow's offense all year. Uh, they played a couple games against teams that weren't very good, and they played to that level. They played against Mount Pleasant and didn't play to any level. But tonight, they are playing football the way they're capable of. Very pleased to see that they've, they've broken out of that uh, early season doldrums, I call them. And we mentioned Powers came in with the top defense in the blue division. It's only allowed 585 yards through three through four games, but so far the Dow offense has shredded them, really. And again, great field position and excellent defense. But it's, it's a pretty good field, formula. Yeah. Well, it's been the field position. Both, you know, all the times they've had the ball have been on their half of the field, on the Powers' half of the field. So Wilson also doing the kickoff duties. High, short, fielded at the 17 on the run. Oh, nice, solid tackle again by the Dow Special Teams. You see, I like that. See, again, I mean, I'm just pointing this out because of the emphasis now on. Uh, concussions and head first tackling we're seeing Dow with that eyes on the thigh type of blocking this has been um, pushed real hard by Pete Carroll the coach of the mm -hmm. Seattle Seahawks yeah. who, who did a, uh, a study of rugby tackling and has had influenced it into his defensive scheme Pete Carroll's always been a good defensive coach mm -hmm. and has passed matter of fact he has a video out on it that's on YouTube Joy Lundell, number 20, now in at safety. He was in on that tackle on the special teams. He's back uh, in the second safety along with Ritma. First and 10, Flint Powers Chargers. Sargent is going to keep it hauled down by Spencer Halbert. We have called his name a lot so far today. Halbert having an outstanding game for Dow High. Second and six. As the clock ticks away here on the first quarter. Man back in on defense now for Dow. It's a counter play. And that's going to be a first down for Powers. Dow got a little bit confused on that play. They lost, uh, they lost the ball. First and 10, at 42. Empty backfield. It's a little quick sweep. Oh man, Justin Cook again. Beat the blocks. New, it's almost like he knew what the play was. Hauled him down for a big loss. You know what, he didn't know what the play was. Anytime they're an empty, 
and the guy goes in motion, it's that, He's jet, off. It's that jet sweep. And so we end the first quarter of play. 2015 homecoming game cannot have gone any better for Dow than it has in this first quarter, up 21-0, playing outstanding football in all three phases so well, far. Well, when you score early and score often, which is 21 points in the first quarter, you're doing something. And, uh, you know, we were expecting a pretty high-scoring game, but uh, it is high-scoring for Dow, but their defense has just been so tough that uh, really Powers has gotten a few first downs, but really not has not even really threatened to score yet. Well, Powers just looks out of sync. You know, a lot of times uh, this may have been one of their first trips on the road, and sometimes you leave your game on the bus for a half, and that's exactly what it looks like right here. Well, Coach, Powers, through four games, they're 3-1, and 3-0 and in the Saginaw Valley League. They'd only given up 34 points all year. Gave up 21 in the first quarter today. Dow High has come to play. Dow defense has only given up 48 points. So no slouch themselves here. And uh, and they've, they've shown how strong they can be. Sergeant, back to pass. He's going deep, lost the ball up high, incomplete. Intended for Reese Morgan. Good coverage again by Dow. That was Huss on the coverage as well as Cook. Well, you can see the difference in the two passers. Um, man throwing a little lower. Yeah. Ball with a little more giddy up on it. Sergeant throwing a reach up in the air and hope you can yeah. catch it. Just... Well, the difference is uh, Robin Steiner 6'5 against 5'7s. Five, five well, Dow's, Dow's able to match up with the receivers. Third and long again. Again, Going a deep long again, high pass. Up and incomplete. Excellent defense. Broken up by Excellent Jared defense. Mohammed. Once again, the senior coming up big on D. Mohammed's come up with some big plays here in the first half. Notice the pattern of Power's passing game. Just throw it, just launch it deep. Launch it. Yeah, there's not a real... Uh, launch it with medium speed. I mean, it doesn't work like that. No. You can launch if you've got great speed. I don't see Flint Central speed. You know, Saginaw high speed. High kick fielded by Cook at the 19. Looking for room to run. He's got a little room to run. Good power run all the way out to the 36-yard line. Nice return by Justin Cook, the senior wide-out defensive back. Luka Bursic on the stop, but that was in that pretty good field position here again on the first possession of the second quarter. Oh, any coach would take 35-yard line. Any coach, start off in the 35, that's a bonus. Justin Cook, five touchdowns on the season thus far for Dow. Back to pass goes man. Pump fakes. There's a flag in the play. I think we're going to have a hold, but he's sacked anyway. Now the coverage or the protection broke down there. Kelson Connors on the sack. I'm sure they will decline this penalty and uh, take the sack. See, that's the first time we've seen a man have to move his feet. He looked like that's he was really intended to go deep. Kind of did a little shoulder fake. Needed a little bit more time. And uh, the uh, protection broke down. And uh, bring up third and long for Dow. Clock is running. Second and long, we'll call it second and 16 from the 30. It does not seem like insurmountable the way the Dow offense has been running. Man's gonna keep it, trips up, and they, they're they gonna call him down initially. He got tripped up, his knee touched, and so it's gonna he's gonna lose another three on the play. So it'll be a third and 19. Got a hunch we're going to be targeting Rob in this situation here, Coach. Well, we're going the wrong way. 
you know, you got to go. You got to go towards the goal line. You can't go the other way. <laughs> the penalty hurt, and uh, right now we've had two breakdowns in our protection. If he gets time, you know, this is a situation where you try to throw it up to the to the big fellow Rob and see if he can uh, go up. And well, they're get doubling him out there now. They're tripling him, really. <laughs> we have, and we're going to have a delay a game. We're still moving back. So after being so efficient all first quarter, it's uh, been a different story here to start the second. Third and 24 now. This is Dow's screen. This is their screen pass time. Well, they have those that bunch formation to the left, at least the last uh, Yeah, we're going to see setup. that little bubble screen. See if uh, right. Cook or Wilson can break one. Well, I think it's either going to be, usually it's Rob. Let's see, where is Rob at? Okay, he's over there at the changed, tight end. He changed their formation now. Stein out by himself to the left. He's going to look for Stein and sacked again. Wow. He just went backwards on that. And that was the guy we have been talking about. Darrell Tolbert just blew that up. I mean, he had no time. Remember I to told you that it. they had not been rushing him and playing protection against his run. Well, when you got third in eternity, you know, they just turned them loose, and Dow's offensive line can't hold out those guys. Dow will punt fourth and 31. Wilson's punt, a good long one. Fielded, missed the tackle. He's looking for a run, got a block, got another block. Still on his feet, flag on the play. He's going to go the distance, but I think it's coming back. Great return by Matt Whisker, but a flag has been dropped back here at the 50-yard line. Didn't really, didn't really see the the block in the back, but uh, the official is still standing by the flag. They're talking about it. So big special teams played by Powers. It's going to be nullified. Good return by Whisker. No, personal foul by on Dow. That's touchdown. a touchdown. Wow. I, I should have waited for the official to make the call. No, it was certainly. It. it had the feel of an illegal block. But uh, sorry, folks. That's a touchdown, Flynn Powers. Long kick. Whisker fields it right there. And you can see where he gets uh, a nice block right there. Another one right there. Two guys fighting. Lack of control. And as a result, now it's a touchdown. Whisker's having a good game for Powers. And just like that, Powers on the board. Change of momentum. Extra point up and good. 21-7. Those penalties Blue like that, the where, you, where you're fighting, you're pushing somebody, or you think, okay, I'm going to do this. Those are coaches' nightmares. Because just like that right there, there's the penalty. You, you had this coming back, but you have to retaliate. Just walk off the field and cut it out. You got blocked. Give it up. <laughs> and so, sudden change of momentum Dow High complete control in the first quarter, and uh, th their offense stalls, and now, then a the big kick. One of the turn. things we're going to see in this replay is that Dow loses their their lanes. So here they come out, and, and they should be, everybody should be in a lane. So now watch the this re defender over here is going to get inside number 83, and he's the one that's going to get the penalty. And now as a result, now we have everybody losing their lanes. And that was some great blocking by the yeah, Powers. Yeah, it was. That was some punt return. And so, because of the personal foul on Dow, Powers will be kicking off from the Dow 45. Probably got to think potential onside kick here. They don't really show that they're going to do that. But we shall see. Low line drive kick, and Powers was offsides. Flag on the play, whistle dead. He got a little over anxious. 
boy, Bowers is, is something you just don't want to do. You got the momentum, you're going to pin him back. We're looking at a little bit of a sloppy game at this point. So we're going to try it again, this time from the 50. Johnny Wilson back deep to receive. It's like Huss and Muhammad on the wings back deep. The kickoff, this one is kicked into the end zone for the touchback. Really the smart move on Power's part. Why well, risk a return? Absolutely. Make them go, you know, your chances of scoring are one in 10 from the 20. So whenever you take over from 20, it's only a 10% chance that you're gonna be able to score. Because everything's in your favor. Let, make them start on the 20. So we'll see if the, if Dow High can uh, right the ship here again. Still up 21-7. Up by the two touchdowns, nine minutes to go in the second quarter at our 2015 Dow High homecoming game, Midland Community Stadium, a beautiful night. Just a little bit of cool in the air, but uh, just a gorgeous night to watch football. Wilson comes in to the backfield. He gets the play from Bruce Mann, the junior quarterback for Dow. Mann having a great game. Mann's going to keep it run left. Finds a seam, jumps over. It's going to get the first down. A nice job. Excellent run there. Mann is a, Mann's a good football player. Mann is a good football player, and he ran away from 55. Yeah, that's they right. decide not so he's to, smart too. Yeah, don't go in the middle. <laughs> First and ten chargers. Just what the doctor ordered. Get a positive play to start things off. See if they can get that momentum shifted back in their favor. Man alone in the backfield. There's that bubble screen to Rob. Trying to get a block. He's going to get close to the first down. Big chunk of yardage on first down, whether he got it or not. A little That's bit that short. That screen that you were short. talking about. Yeah. So he's going to gain about eight on the play. Well, they have two screens of him. One that goes outside and the other that comes back inside, which is called a jailbreak screen. This is a bubble screen. And actually, I think the, the jailbreak is the, is the touchdown play. I That's told, a yardage play. I think right we'll be there. seeing that again before this night is out, Coach. Man's going to keep it again up the middle. Got all the powers his way for the first down. Good strong run. He's uh, tackled by Spencer Gomez, the linebacker number five. But uh, man is uh, I mean, getting it done on the ground and in the air for the Chargers tonight. Ball at the Dow High 47 yard line. Dow High trying to answer the touchdown by Powers. Huss in motion, fakes handoff, handoff to Wilson, tries to cut back, drives ahead. Good run for about five. Looked like there was going to be nothing there. Instead, he getting to pick up five. Again, Johnny Wilson finds a little seam, scoots up in the seam, and he's in business. Good player. Better call that four, I think, on that gain. But it's into Powers territory, under eight minutes to go here in the second quarter. Trips left for this Dow High formation. Mike Robb outright. Here comes Spencer Stevenson in motion. A high snap. There's that bubble screen. It was uh, incomplete. The timing of that was way off because of the snap. And uh, probably better that it was thrown into the dirt. Or should I say into the plastic. They needed a blocker out there, so they put Stevenson in motion. Threw it out there, and I like the idea. He's, he's really, a guard, guard in the backfield. Get, uh, get Stevenson moving, and if he can hit somebody on the move, can do some damage. It'll bring up third and six for Dow at the 49-yard line. Again, trips left. Rob out to the right. Man, back to pass. Finds Devante Stein. On a quick slant, and that's going to be a big game for the first down. How soft are those hands? That was a nice pass, but an absolutely terrific catch. Watch how soft these hands are. 
but gets right in the seam there. Just reaches right up, plucks it out of the air, and moves down inside the 30. Dow's scheme on these quick passes is they just have so many weapons that man has at his disposal. Quarterback draw, unable to get away. That play was... Again, look at the number of guys from Powers in the backfield. That was uh, blown up this time by 56, K.J. Medley. And look at a uh, beautiful night there with them. The moon over the stadium, a big crowd here for homecoming on that beautiful night. The moon over Midland. Our Dow High second and 15. Man, there's that, there's the jailbreak, but uh, snuffed out well by Powers. Well done by Powers. It was the inside screen you were just talking about to Rob, but it, it's going to get maybe pick up a couple. It'll bring up third and 13. Charger fans watching the game. Just under six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Third and 13. Cook, Cook may look to throw it wide open is Stein. Got it, touchdown. They tried that play earlier in the first drive where they throw it out into the flat, uh, really a long lateral to Cook. And uh, Powers bit, Stein wide open. Much better pass this time by Cook. I know, it was, that pass was high. I mean, that, I've had wedge shots that are lower than that. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I mean, watch this. Great play by Cook. Great he, play by Cook. He gets he out was, here. Great blocking out in front to protect him. And then he just launches one up into the air. So wide yeah, open. Beautiful. That... Uh, And uh, Dow High answers the bell. After giving up that long punt return, marches right down 80 yards for the score. Justin Cook to Devante Stein, and Dow regains that three touchdown lead. Okay, so there's that one out of 10. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, we saw it right there. Well executed drive by the Chargers. They had a couple of situations where they found themselves in third and long, but. Uh, man, coach, between between Rob, Cook, Stein, Huss, he's got a lot of things there's to choose from. A lot of weapons. A lot of weapons. A lot of weapons. Lot Look of at weapons. it again here. Quarterback makes a lot of plays there. Over on the right, That's Rob a, was see, trying to See, that play is a good pass. It gets him in position to make this play. And now he just launches a Launched. wedge <laughs> into the air. Not textbook form there on the throw by Cook, but nevertheless very effective. You know, if it wasn't on TV, you'd say it was a great pass. <laughs> we can't lie. But we can't lie. It, it was just a good pass. I mean, it was, and it was. It was a successful, it's successful. touchdown pass. Well, you know, he. You want to get rid of it when you're that wide open. And tomorrow, in the, the, in the Midland Daily News, it'll be no, no, no. no they, that's it's gonna be a ball. touchback. Yeah, it's a touchback. Boy, he desperately wanted to return it to Burkick, but they I don't blame him. ran into the end zone and it's automatic touchback. You see the Dow High band starting to get ready for their halftime performance. They got to head down to the field early because there's a lot of kids in that band need to get down in position. Yeah, I'm surprised they weren't down there at the end of the first quarter. <laughs> It's going to take them a while. A lot of tuba players in that band we can see from up here. I wonder if that's a record for tuba players in a band. First and 10 from the 20, Flint Powers. Their offense has really sputtered so far, but let's give credit to the Dow defense. Uh -oh. Two men in motion, that is not right. He should just go down here. And the whistle should have been blown many yeah, times. Yes. You know, Josh, they, at my high school... We had 20 tuba players. 20? Yeah, only two could play. 
We had 20 tubas, so they recruited 18 guys to walk around. None of them could play. So we only had two guys that could play, but 18. It looked good. It, <laughs> it looked really good. looked good. Well, there's a, a lot, but I'm going to guess that uh, every one of the ones in this band can play. Oh, there's no question about it. But looks hard to see them sometimes. <laughs> It'll be first and 15. You cannot put two men in motion running at each other. Josh Reitman made this stop on Sargent, but uh, Powers is digging themselves a hole, but they need to put some first downs together. Dow could put this game out of reach this half. He's going to keep it. Design for run. To run. And uh, Reitman again on the tackle for Dow. This game's going to get a little chippy real fast if the officials aren't in complete control. I start to see a little pushing and shoving as the game goes on. Five-yard gain for Sargent will bring up second and ten. There's already been a couple of personal fouls in this game. Sargent trying to keep it again, stays on his feet, and... Uh, Excellent tackle. I tell you what. Josh Rima went oh, off for a few plays Jim, with an ankle. Jimmy McDonald. He just went flying at him that time. And who is in the also on there? Jimmy McDonald. McDonald. Third and nine. They run a kind of with Sargent, try to do similar things, but he's just not the runner or thrower that man is. No, he's not. He's, he's in neither area. Third and nine, a over four minutes to go. Powers desperately needs a first down. Back to pass. He breaks down, he's gonna run, trips up. He probably would have had the first. Maybe, he was look, staring straight at number 34, Stevenson, who had better, different ideas, but trips up and it's gonna bring up fourth and four. Boy, I don't know if he can go for it here. But they haven't they showed any signs of stopping him. They will not go for it. They're going to try to do the same thing. All right, see if they can draw him off sides. He's going to go for it. Drives ahead. It's close, very close. I don't think he has it. Depends on the spot. I don't think they're going to give it to him. The official is just this side of the 30. He had to reach the 30. And... He is going to be short. He had to reach the 30. You don't even need to measure. Well, you don't have to measure. The ball started on the 20 on the kickoff. So unless the chain crew is way off. Well, Dave, that's a pretty good observation. I mean, you got to get 10 yards. You start on the 20. The ball's on the 29 and a half. <laughs> it's not the 30. Not exactly sure why we're measuring here, but but you want to make sure, I guess. Stretch the chains. They stretch out to the 30, <laughs> and they're going to be short. I'm not sure what the controversy here is, and this time they finally signal first down chargers. It's just no way. Let's take a look. They tried the quarterback draw. Probably a little doubt because he took a step back like he might punt. Decent blocking, and that was 23, really made the hit, Jimmy McDonald. See, the game is not out of reach. It's only a three-touchdown game. You got to punt. You can't You can't do that. That's what I mean. They need to yeah. keep Dow off. because Now uh, it's going to be 35-7 because Dow's going to go right for the throat right off the bat. You may see the fly you're pattern gonna here see, to, to you're Rob. Gonna see right to Rob. Stevenson in motion to the right. He's, there it is. He's going to block for Rob. Rob sheds the tackler. He's hit. It was out of bounds. Good job delivering the blow by Rob. Followed the block of Stevenson. It's pretty good, uh, pretty good play right there. You it's get very Stevenson good play. in motion. And you got, you know, he's the, a good. The beautiful blocker. part is, and this is the thing I admire the most about the Dow offense, is the fact that those receivers block. Yeah, they block for each other. Yeah, they've done a great job. Yeah, of that tonight. they do. They do an outstanding job in practice of of that one area. 
Second and one, a short one. Man's gonna roll right, he's gonna keep it, and he's gonna get the first. Still on his feet! Drives ahead inside the 10. What a job by broke, Bruce Mann. Broke two tackles, beautiful run. It's like Powers assumed he was gonna go out of bounds, but uh, he was having none of that. Man drives his way, it's gonna be first and goal from the nine. Just under two, three minutes to go here in the half. Dow on the verge of really putting this, uh, potentially putting this game out of reach. It's 28-7, 35-7. That's that's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. Half. See, that's you really would like to punt the ball and get back, get into the locker room and get squared around a little bit. Pitch to Willis, and there's a timeout called by Dow. Coach Watkins wants to talk about this. Jason Watkins, the head coach of Dow, who has just done a tremendous job as uh, at the helm since he took over for Dow. Also on the staff, Keith Schulte, John Streeter, among others. Coverage of this HH Dow football game is being produced by MCT volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, come to the next orientation studio training class on Saturday, October 2nd. On the second Saturday in October, which is the 10th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Or Saturday, November 14th, costs just $45 and includes annual access user fee. Call 837-3474 for more information. Here we go, first and goal from the nine. Dow High, offense has been in control much of this game, only sputtered on one drive, scored on the rest. Sweep to Wilson, flag on the play, another flag. We're gonna get a hold probably out here this time. Wilson gets out there in space. He's exciting to yes, watch. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. You <laughs> just don't really know what's going to happen. This is a... Uh, this is a... Uh... Now, Two the flags. helmet got yanked off. So, hold on, Dow, and I'm going to think... That's all it's going to be. That's all it's going to be. Like you said, when helmets start flying, you talk, you talk about getting a little chippy. That's uh, something's going on when helmets are flying. There's uh, Bruce Mann having a terrific season, a terrific game. Checking the play from his coach. Take Here a look at this. Replay on a, it's a it's a mo it's a slow motion right now. We're going to see quick motion coming back, and this is called a flip sweep. The ball's flipped in the air, and we're going to see a lot of holding. Get tripped up. It's technically yeah. a uh, pass at play, actually. Man's going to keep it, trying to get the edge, and not this time. Great job by the Flint Powers defender at uh, 32, Andrew Bade. And a big loss. Wow. 209 to go in the half. Clock is ticking. It's second in goal from the 24. Second time tonight they've had. A long way to go. The penalty and then the big loss here. And so uh, Dow is right there on first and goal. Now they got a little ways to wait to go. This time the pitch is to Huss and run down. <laughs> what a play. Oh my goodness by Darrell Tolbert. There's a flag, late flag on the We're play. We're probably going to see holding again. And you're going to have holding on that play almost every play, every time you run it, because of the nature of the play. You have to sustain the block. So you have long? to stay. You have to keep on it, and keep on it, and keep on it. And the result is, it's it's. And I've asked coaches why they run that play, and they say, "Well, it sets up so many other plays for us." Yeah, but it loses Not if you. you go back. You're always going back because you can't sustain the block. You have to have great speed to run that play. You can, tell, you can tell I don't like the play. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> we'll, we'll just change the subject I just don't, real I just, quick. Here. I just don't like the play. 
So there's multiple fouls on Dow. Um, this is going to be marched back even farther. Look again. How about that play by Tolbert? The big fella in the middle chased it down. Can't believe he's the guy that made the play. Ball is marched all the way back to the 46 yard line. Wow. Second and goal from the 46. You do not see this every day. Well, oh. now it's second in eternity. It's second and goal from the 46 yard line. I don't know if I've ever seen that. So two big penalties plus a uh, loss of play yardage. That was a uh, spot foul. We'll see what happens though. Man, finds Stein on the run. Down to the 22, they cut that distance in half. Don't count the Chargers out. Just over a minute to go, and now it's third and goal from the 22. That play has been extremely effective. It's there all night. I couldn't all understand night. why they were running the jet sweep when that play is there all night, I know. It's a quick slant to either Stein or Rob, it's, and I don't think they, Powers just, can cover it. No, there isn't, because there isn't anybody in the middle of the field. If you take a look, they're in two high safeties and nobody in the middle. You see right now, if you look out there, there is nobody in the middle of the field. Man, looking deep under pressure and breaks a tackle, still on his feet. Great effort by man. Oh my goodness, what a job. He's gonna get down to the 14. He picked up 10, maybe 15 on sheer effort. Fourth and goal now, clock is ticking. I think Dow will take this probably down to two or three seconds, call timeout, and just run the last play of the half. That's exactly what they have in mind. 3.8 to go. It's fourth down anyway, so it's either going to be a touchdown. Uh, it's going to be the end of the half either way now. Is it going to be a touchdown or nothing for Dow? And I think... With the weapons they have, they have a good shot at this, at, at converting here. They go up high to Rob, possibly. Go up high to Stein. They got Cook. A lot of options here for Mann. If he finds himself in trouble, you can't count him out for himself. Well, he's pretty well bet in. that they're going to come hard and try to make him lose his feet a little bit. Depends on how fast he can get rid of the ball. What about that sweep? Should we run that? We, Only if you want another subject? penalty. <laughs> should I change the subject? I don't think it's going to be that. He's got those two tall receivers. You mentioned Rob is 6'6", six, six, Stein 6'5", six, 195. Both with soft hands. Both can go up and get the ball. But Tao's going to try a field goal after all that talk. Johnny Wilson's going to line up for a 32-yard field goal try. Huss is the holder. Snap is good, hold is good, kick is no good. Just Too wide bad. left. Good distance, just wide left. Give Dow credit, they had it uh, second to go from the 46, got it down into field goal range, just missed it. But nevertheless, Coach Watkins and staff gotta be pleased with the first half of play for his team, up 28-7. You know, it's 28-7, but we're kind of disappointed. We think I it know. should be 45-7. Dow has totally dominated the ball game, except for the, the punt return. The punt return, and, and the, the two times they didn't score, really, they kind of, it was self-inflicted. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Powers exactly. has not showed really any signs of being able to stop yeah, it. Yeah, you know, Powers is exactly what I thought earlier. They left the game on their bus. And you got to, you know, now at the end of the half, uh, they're either going to come out here and, and do some playing or this game is going to be running clock. And so we will send it down to the field for the halftime festivities. It's the Dow High Marching Band, plus all the homecoming uh, king and queen coronation. And uh, enjoy halftime fans, and we will see you for the second half.
ladies and gentlemen, we open our special homecoming show with a song that has taken was taken straight from the current top ten pop hit list. Uma Thurman by Fall Out Boy features a quote from the familiar theme song for the old Munsters television show. Senior drum major Brinley Lenhart will lead the band. Welcome our enthusiastic alumni band to the field. She will lead the combined bands on a perennial favorite from the Drumline live show, Cold Hearted.
as I contact crowd through the field for another recent hit song that was recorded by Megan Trainer. Senior drum major Andrew Wong will lead a very exciting Tom Wallace arrangement, Lips Are Moving. is coming to a theater near you. We hope to get you in this space adventure mood with a main title theme that was composed for the original movie by John Williams. The band will spell out Star Wars, move a spaceship across the field, form a Darth Vader helmet, and finally depict Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi in an ep epic lightsaber battle. And now, senior drum major Andrew Wong and Star Wars.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2015 Dow High School Homecoming Halftime Ceremony. At this time, it, it is our pleasure and honor to introduce the Dow High Charger Homecoming Corps. Please welcome our freshman class representatives and their parents from the class of 2019. Reese Lador, escorted this evening by her father, Scott Lador. Nicholas Bloom, escorted by his parents, Miriam and Chris Bloom. Mary Jungle, escorted by her parents, Marnie and Mark Jungle. Nick Siraki, escorted by his mom, Audrey Jegla. Congratulations to the freshman class representatives and their families. Representing the class of 2018, Anna Blazy, escorted this evening by her parents, Richard and Shannon Blazy. Garrett Brillhart, escorted by his parents, Kurt and Christine Brillhart. Jessica Bunnell, daughter of Tom and Renee Bunnell, is escorted tonight by her father, Tom Bunnell. Jared Zahn, escorted this evening by his parents, Carol and James Zahn. Congratulations to the sophomore class representatives and their families. On the field next are our 2017 class representatives. Please welcome Paige Dieters, escorted, by, escorted this evening by her parents, Robin and James Dieters. Joseph Fabiano, escorted by his parents, Michelle and Joe Fabiano. Nadia Anton, escorted by her parents, Laura and Scott Atton. And Bruce W. Mann III, escorted by his parents, Michelle and Bruce Mann. Congratulations to the junior class representatives and their families. The Dow High School homecoming king and queen will be selected from the following senior class representatives. Alexi Flaminio, escorted by her parents, Marianne and Steve Flaminio. Alexi is in the National Honor Society, plays varsity golf, soccer, and basketball for the Chargers. She also co-ops at MidMichigan Eye Care. Alexi is planning on pursuing physical therapy after high school and hopes to play soccer at a collegiate level. Justin Cook, escorted tonight by his parents, Annette and Ken Cook. Justin is a member of the National Honor Society, plays football and basketball for Dow High. Justin also finds time to coach MAYFL youth football in our community. He is undecided on his college, but hopes to study business. Brindley Leonard is escorted this evening by her parents, Suzanne and Damon Leonard. Brindley is a member of the National Honor Society, Key Club, Drama Club, President of International Thespian Society, and a drum major for the band. She will attend Brigham Young University or Utah State University to study clinical psychology or elementary education. Luke Drumright, escorted by his parents, Susan and Ray Drumright. Luke is a member of the Dow High Band, Swim Team, International Thespian Society, and Charger Chefs. In our community, Luke is a member of First United Methodist Church Youth Group and Praise Band. He also swims on Midland Special Olympics Swim Team. Luke plans to take classes at Saginaw Valley State University. <laughs> Linda Pavlock is escorted this evening by her parents, Carrie and Steve Pavlock. Linda is a member of the National Arts Honor Society and DECA. Linda works at Cafe Zinc. She is interested in studying international business after high school. <laughs> Kyle Bunnell, son of Tom and Renee Bunnell, is escorted tonight by his mother, Renee. This 
Kyle helps coach both the freshman and JV football teams and is the statistician for varsity football. Kyle is a member of the H.H. Dow basketball team, member of the Student Leadership and National Honor Society. Kyle is interested in studying exercise, science, and nutrition after high school. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our 2015 Dow High School senior class homecoming representatives. Last year's homecoming king, Mr. Brigham Ostergaard, is unable to be here tonight, but sends his greetings to past and present Chargers this weekend. Brigham is serving as a full-time Mormon missionary for the next two years in Santa Maria, Brazil. He will study mechanical engineering and computer science at BYU after his mission. H.H. Dow welcomes back last year's homecoming queen, Miss Ashley Effelwall, who is here tonight from James Madison Honors College at Michigan State University, where she is studying comparative cultures and politics. Ashley will crown the 2015 homecoming queen and present the medallion to our homecoming king. Drum roll, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dow High School class of 2015 homecoming king is Luke Drumright. The new king moves. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dow High School class of 2015, homecoming queen is, drum roll please, Brindley Leonhardt. I'd like to introduce Principal Pam Castle. A bouquet of yellow roses are being presented to the H.H. Dow Homecoming Queen on behalf of the Dow High student body and staff by Dow High Principal, Ms. Pamela Castle. Mr. Davis, Assistant Principal of Dow High School, presented the Charger Bolt to our Homecoming King. Ladies and gentlemen, H.H. Dow High School is proud to present to you the 2015 Dow High School Homecoming Court. Please stand as the court and the 251 member Charger, Mar Charger Marching Band leave the field playing our Charger fight song. For our second half, uh, another uh, rousing halftime festivity, the Dow High Marching Band led by all those tuba players. I, I think you got to give tuba players some shout out once in a while. I don't I think they get good. enough credit. And so uh, as we, uh, the fields are on the, the team's on the field warming up, we're going to take some look at the highlights from our first half. And uh, as we this look ahead here. First touchdown here, beautiful run by Bruce Mann into the end zone. Good blocking. Missed tackle there by 
the linebacker. And this is that play where they're they're in their first series. Stevenson just uh, destroys the quarterback and <laughs> runs him over to recover the fumble, leading to the next touchdown. It's a beautiful pass again right here, right into the, see right into that area right there. There is nobody there for, every time you run a too high defense, you get that open in the middle. And this is Johnny, Johnny Wilson running into that little slot. So we mentioned the downfield blocking by the wideouts. Great job by Dow. And this is the punt return. And you can see where the Dow outside guy loses his contain right there. And then there's the block on him. And Just then all of a sudden, really good downfield blocking there. by uh, Powers. Some good blocking, and, and of course, the runner gets into the end zone quite easily. This is the double pass from Crook to Devontae Stein. Justin Cook having a good night. He was on the homecoming court and uh, also well, is having a great game defensively and offensively. Well, Dave, that's the one thing that's impressed me the most tonight is the Dow defense. They've come out to play. This is uh, uh, one of the top offenses in the league and has been totally neutralized by Dow's defense. The only score they've had has been that uh, punt return. The other thing that happened was, and, and you got to be impressed with the passing of man in the first half. It's just fantastic and in the right spots at the right time, sometimes with touch, sometimes a little zip. So it's been great. And, and it, consequently, uh, Powers' offense has been extremely disappointing in, in, in its execution. Well, execution, they just, they just don't have the, the playmakers that Dow has, really, at least from what I've seen. Well, Dow has taken advantage of their uh, mismatches. Yeah, big time. And uh, by that, we in particular mean Mike Robb and Devontae Stein, um, big receivers, going to get smaller secondary men, and uh, it's really paid off. And uh, really, See, it's, hard, it's hard to double double. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's the problem. You, you have to be able to double double the wide out, and then that leaves you cook one on one with somebody underneath. Now, usually a linebacker who's a little bit slower of foot than the double-double guys. And then you can throw in there Eric Huss, the 6'1 senior, who's also uh, a threat. Seems like there's been a Huss on the Dow High team for a long, long time. time. The Huss family, uh, the Huss brothers really have been uh, big names in Dow High football in recent years. And... Uh, this year, no exception with uh, Eric Huss um, lining up at receiver as well as in the secondary. See, as a coach, you say, you say to yourself, in, in a football game, the two most important series are the last play of the first half and the first series by both teams in the second half. So we saw Dow drive down and get stalled at the end, and really they should have scored a touchdown. Now we're going to see what the two teams in their adjustments have made to handle the second half. So here you go, Johnny Wilson with the kickoff. Powers going to try to get some offense going. Fielded at about the one or two. Good job on the coverage. Good coverage by Dow. Really set up by a nice kickoff. Looks like Stevenson in on that tackle for the Chargers. And Flint is going to, Flint Powers will take over on their own. So they're going to put it on the 19. So, yeah, I think you're right, Coach. This first series here to start the half is pretty big. If Powers is going to mount, really mount some momentum, mount a charge, it's, uh, they got to make it happen. Quick handoff. Uh, That's the first play we've seen where they've gone run the ball hard in the middle of the Dow offense. Tom Bobin. By somebody other than the quarterback. Right. Bobin, number 10, man on the tackle. Not after an eight yard pickup. Bring up second and two for the Flint Powers Chargers. It's time the quarterback draw. He's going to get the first down. A little more. 
before he swarmed under. Drink pool led the charge there for Dow's defense, but uh, Powers moves the chains out to the 34. Interesting that Bruce Mann is playing safety. Uh, Especially with a three touchdown lead. Well, somebody's hurt. First and 10. Again, Bobin is the setback. Hand off to him again. And there's some quick moves. Gets about five on the play. Shows some quick feet. A late flag. And the way Powers is reacting, I think this may go against Dow. The, uh, the Powers players were all clapping when they saw the flag go flying. And I think they are assuming it's going against Dow High. Officials sorting it out. We'll get the call here from the referee. It is a personal foul against Dow. That's going to mark off 15 yards. And suddenly Flint Powers is in Dow High territory. They have not ventured into this territory very often tonight. So showing a little bit of life here coming out of the locker room is Powers. Sergeant alone in the backfield, empty backfield, two out to the right, two receivers to the left in motion. He's going deep and it is almost picked off. Eric Huss had a bead on it. Just uh, there's a little bit of contact after it got to him. They did try to hit uh, Reese Morgan on that long pass, but uh, good coverage by Huss. That was kind of a surprise. They've run the ball very yeah. successfully, and now they I, forced may... themselves now into a second and ten, yeah, I'm not which sure. means they're going to throw now. Yeah, not sure about that play. Finally, that's dropped. Quick uh, try to hit the quick short pass. They have not done that very much tonight. This time, Muhammad sniffs it out, breaks it up, and all of a sudden, third and ten. Yeah, I don't know about going deep on first down. They haven't had any success doing that all game. Right. Showing a little life, and then you, it just kind of well, when you deflates, get that, deflates see now they're, the They're series. back in that empty formation, and that means they, they're going to have a tight end who really is just a blocker. Sergeant fails downfield. Al Ritma breaks it up, but unable to hold on. And he, uh, he's been battling a ankle tonight. And uh, looks, Ritma looking a little bit hobbled out there. I don't know if that affected his, when he came down, causing him to drop it, but it's fourth and 10. And so the Powers drive stalls. Good high punt. Dow was expecting a fake. Nobody back there to receive it. And they're going to down it inside the 10. Looks like they're going to spot it at about the six or seven yard line. Yeah, Powers showed a little life. They just kind of got out of what they were. They got out of their rhythm. Success. Absolutely. They had an excellent chance there. And they, you, if you. It's, it's okay to throw a pass on first down, but it has to be one that's a firm, secure pass. Okay, if the guy drops it, he drops it. But when you're going for the bomb on first down and you're, you haven't done anything all night offensively, then you've really stymied yourself. Because now you've just told the other team we're throwing the ball on second and third down. So now on their first possession of the second half, up 28-7. Dow has been in control all night long. Man's going to go right on his feet. Still drives ahead. Going to move the chains. Excellent run by Man. He's a little. He has a little deceptive speed, but really he runs in control. He finds his spots, makes the most of what presents itself. Remember, we're looking at a six foot two, two hundred and ten to two hundred fifteen pound running back at quarterback. Right. Who can throw? Yeah. And that is, you know, that he's uh, in Tebow. my mind an old single wing tailback yeah. throwback. Tim Tebow ish with more of a modern slant to it. Two running backs in the backfield. It's going to go to Wilson. 
And he's spinning around, he's gonna gain three or four yards on the play. Dow does it, also does a good job of mixing up their plays. So you, you, the right. defense is just on their heels because uh, uh, they have a wide variety of plays that have all been successful and well, coaches, all get the feel that they can be their successful. Their coaches upstairs have a pretty good feel for their offense and what they can do. And they really do a great job of calling the plays and, and setting up other plays. Second and six for the Chargers. Man, a quick slant this time to Cook. And he got swarmed under. He eluded the first tackler, but then uh, Bobin came and uh, set him back a couple of yards. It'll bring up third and eight for Dow. Just under nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Dow on top, 28-7. Offense has really been effective tonight. The only times it hasn't been, really, if they get a couple of penalties and uh, uh, kind of force themselves into very long situations. I would but totally expect this pass to come over the middle. Man, looking downfield, fires for Cook, just sailed high. Cook was open, and... Uh, I don't know if uh, he just kind of settled in there. I don't know if Mann expected him to be on the run. Um, Cook kind of was pointing to himself. Um, hard to say. Nevertheless, the ball sails high and complete. Dow will have to punt for the second time tonight. Both teams failed on their opening series. Johnny Wilson, the punter, as well as the kicker and running back. Good, long boot. Fielded at the 42. Much and better control much this better time. Much better coverage. Last time yeah, you were Better control. Matt Whisker returned it for Power's lone touchdown of the night. The first time, that time good, uh, good coverage. Powers does have good field position at their own 49 yard line. Well, we'll call it the 50. Again, we said beautiful night. Got to love the Friday night lights. Yep. The, the Again, lights just glow in empty the dark. backfield tells me pass or quarterback run. That's all they can do out of it. Pass. Quick out this time. He's going to get the first down. That's more the passing game they need. Exactly. Those five or six yarders, not, and a, the, and a, you know, not the 30 yarders. What you're looking for is exactly what happened. You have a missed tackle out onto the perimeter and hope that you can convert that into a big play. Down to the 39. They have not really completed very many passes tonight. Clock is running. This time quick out. And that uh, drives ahead another first down. Go more with that short passing game. Jolie Lundahl on the tackle. A little bit of a catch and run offense right now. Move the chains again, down to the 28 yard line. Sergeant, he's going to keep it. Still on his feet. Drink pool on the tackle. But he's going to pick up about seven, maybe eight on first down. No, it's. We're going to call it six. Effective first down play. See the Dow High student section. All enjoying homecoming 2015 here at Midland Community Stadium. Sergeant following his block, trying to stay in his feet. Flag on the play. He's run down. Lundahl again on the stop. It's like uh, Devin Anzarut. Maritma also in on the action. If this is holding, it's going to be a devastating call on Powers, yeah, it and it is. It's going to be a disaster. Because they're finally showing some... That's probably the biggest penetration in Dow territory all night long. And they just don't seem that they can come up with a big play to overcome big penalties like this. But we shall see second and 10, or excuse me, second and 12 now for Powers. Quarterback running that ball is 
kind of looked like he just took too long to really make a decision on what he was going to do with it. And that was that sustained block he had to try to keep. He can't keep it. And uh, he ended up holding. Sargent back to pass. Under pressure. Looking way downfield. Throws for the end zone. Ball up. And it is touchdown Down. Powers. Kind of threw it up for grabs, almost like a punt almost. And, and the receiver, that is Whisker, with his second touchdown of the night. So I just said they couldn't make a big play, and they made a big play. We'll look for it. Pretty good pressure, snuffed out, made him roll right. He even threw it off balance. Just let it fly, hoping his receiver can make a play, and he did. Extra point is good, and just like that, Coach, 28-14, we have ourselves a game. All right, that's what I thought. We have ourselves a game. That was the, really, honestly, the first signs of life of the Powers offense. Exactly. You know, you, you just don't let a team off the hook, and I, I maintain this back from when the last the last play of the, uh, of the half, the last series of the half, here comes the same touchdown. You're going to see Dow lost contain out on the edge. You can see they're all over there on the right-hand side. There's no pressure coming from that edge. And the defender just gets beat. Ball's thrown up in the air, and there's nobody in the middle of the field. So but again, it's that series at the end, which would have made it a yeah. 35, you know, put-away game right. that you lose, and then now they can die and they score. So now Dow has to answer. 28-14, line drive kick. Mohamed with the return. Got a little room. Down the left side, makes a move. All the way out to the 45. Nicely done. Terrific blocking and Jared terrific Muhammad. run by Mohamed. We have called his name a lot tonight, Coach. Yes, Mohamed we having a game. Pretty good player. Here he goes, and we're going to see the first block right here that's going to secure him. And then right there, the last guy saves it, Bryce Keita. Key to that, he was decisive. He, he caught it, and he was darted left immediately right. and just went for it. If you kind of dance around earlier, it's usually not going to work out too well. So good field position for the Chargers at the 45, trying to answer the call. High snap, man loses it. Back to pass, throws it, intercepted. Oh no, they're gonna say incomplete. Man was trying to throw it away. Didn't see the defender there. He went uh, low to the turf, but uh, the ball skips off the turf. Huge break for Dow. Well, this is where you tell your, your quarterback when you're in this sort of a thing, why don't you throw it to your mother in the stands? <laughs> I say, throw it to the cheerleaders. Yeah, throw it to your mother. <laughs> don't do anything that's going to cause you. He's just running, and oh boy, it's close. Okay, yeah, it's really hard to see. The official yeah. was right, right on it. He good. he did not hesitate on it the call. It was a good call. Yeah. Trips right. Says that feel of that little scream, but no, one fakes. Man under serious pressure. Guess who led the charge? 55, probably didn't get the sack, but he made the play, it was Tolbert. He made the play, right. That guy's a load. Now going backwards, third and 16 now. Boy, he'd sure like to convert here. His powers has some life right now. He can convert on this third and long, he can deflate that a bit. You can see our MCTV camera crew on the sideline catching all the action. But the crew doing a great job as always, giving us replays. They're going to say, do that same play to Rob this time. He's going to try to throw it, throws it away. It has to be intentional There's grounding. There's going to be intentional grounding there. There is nobody. There's nobody there. remotely close. He, his mother, maybe his mother. And so that's going to be a loss of down as well as the yardage. And so 
This series did not go well. Unfortunately, we're out. now seeing Dow going the wrong way in their offense. Both both uh, series in yes. the second half. Yes. I'd like to see if they go back to those quick slants that I just don't think Powers can even cover those guys. We may you may see Dow next time around get uh, a little more conservative in that regard. In comes 15 Hayek Bo Bovey. He's the blocker. Wilson to punt. Low line drive. And good coverage by Dow. That was Eric Huss and Spencer Stevenson on the tackle. Whisker, who has both Powers touchdowns, including a punt return. This time, nothing doing. Well, those are not the same guys that were on the, punt, the touchdown punt return. <laughs> yeah, we're saying Stevenson and Huss yeah, now. We're not... <laughs> They're not the same guys. No. Get Stevenson, one of the surest tacklers in the Saginaw Valley. Now League. we're probably going to see that little fullback blast. There and he fumbles it. He better go. Oh, Sergeant trying to make something out of nothing. Reetma. He was lucky to get what he got. He was. Pretty heads up play. Reetma on the stop. Along with... There's a shaken up charger down there. Let's see who that was. Is that 52, it looks like. Robert Jennings. And so the training staff will attend to Mr. Jennings. Concern by his teammates as well. His the opponents across the field coming in into this game as we're uh, um, waiting for the staff to attend see the Charger teammates very concerned <laughs> attended to sure hope uh, he's okay We are in the third quarter, 5-11 to go, down on top, 28-14. It is second and 14, the Dow High players exhorting the fans to make some noise, get some energy in the stadium, and, and uh, play the rest of this game for their comrade, Robert Jennings. to Zach Peterson runs onto the field. Tried to a little trickery there. Reese Morgan on the carry, not going to gain much. See, that's their that's their run offense. That double wing, double tight end. Be interesting to a see bit if of a they counter. continue in that. They ran a little counter, but they ran a counter right at where Jennings was. And right. obviously didn't make much. <laughs> Devontae Stein is now the outside linebacker there, and he's a pretty good player. Third and 11. Here's the pitch. He's going to throw it back to the quarterback. That's dangerous. Almost picked off. Stein breaks it up. Good job by Stein. Good reaction. Keeping huh? his uh, Very good positioning. Reaction. Very dangerous pass. That could have easily turned into six the other way. Falls harmlessly to the turf. Brings up fourth and 11. So after the long delay, the Dow High defense comes up with the stop. But those were two surprise pat plays. You know, after they had had that success, in what they did to come back with that. High, but short, and it's gonna take a sideways bounce. Dow will get it at 35 yard line. All right. Game's back on. We'll see what happens now. That was a, a not a very impressive two plays out no. of Powers and after the layoff. It kind of got away from what was yeah. working for him. So we'll see if Dow High can respond here. 
on offense. Ball at the 36. It's a two score game. Now Dow's in the tight end. Pitch. It's a pitch to Wilson. Trying to get outside. Flag on the play. Probably a hold. You gain a couple. It's kind of what you're talking about where you have to sustain that block for so long. Well, Dow's perimeter blocking is holding. I mean, that's that's exactly what it is. I and mean, if you take a look at every one of Dow's perimeter's plays, there's going to be some holding because it just takes so long to get there. Dow does not have the perimeter speed to make those kind of plays that... Well, it's actually it a face look. mask, Coach. When you're looking at a 4 or 5, well, how about that? A face yeah. mask, all right. Held the face mask. I'll take that any day. Stand corrected. Well, I saw four holds. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm saying to myself, okay, that's a hold. Because but they saw the face mask. Well, they saw the face mask, but I saw the holds. <laughs> One, two. Well, look on the corner. Here comes three. There's the There's face the mask. face mask on the... Yeah, and Cook. You yeah, just Cook. grabbed it and hauled him down. Okay, we like that. So the result of it is we have the rare first and one situation. Do you go big on this one, Coach, when you got first down and one yard to go? At this point, I'd like to see us do a little sustained drive. Um, I think you're going to see man on a little cross buck keep. It's been an effective play. Cook in motion. Double reverse to Huss. He's got room to run. Cuts up, hauled down in Powers territory. A little trickeration, a double reverse pitch. Man ends up being the lead blocker. Huss runs it for the first down. First and 10 for the Chargers, 3.50 to go in the third quarter. Cook in motion again. Fake the handoff. Man's got room to run up the middle. Cuts it outside. Rumbles for down. the first down. See, now that, that was the play I expected on second and one. Yeah. Just the play off. That's a very been a very efficient play for Dow tonight. KJ Medley on the tackle. But Dow on the move here down to the 36-yard line. Clock is running. High snap, little Statue of Liberty is going to keep it. And Barrel Hall runs over the defender. Wow, that was an impressive run. He ran over Matt Whisker. Whisker felt that one. That was a good, good five-yard gain. And he is a hard runner. He, he makes you pay attention. Yeah, that's a... Uh, yeah, that one showed a different sign there. He just took on the tackler. Man's got it again. Another first down, rumbles down to the 20. Just finds a little crease. Makes his way through it. Just rambles on. The interesting thing is Dow is running right into the heart of that good defense. And that, that's kind of impressive. I mean, you have front guys are really doing their job on that play. The linebackers are lost. It's, it's a very deceptive play. The linebackers are lost. There's a little bit of movement because of the of the motion play. First and ten. Wilson, not this time. Guess who? It's Darrell Tolbert. He wreaks havoc in there. When he guesses right. Yeah, he, 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 he's unstoppable. Very impressive player. When they run that kind of the 
quarterback draw. They just try to seal him off. Okay, we got and get by before he four can make receivers a play. to the right, and one on one on the back, and he's being doubled. Throws yeah, the sign a little too high, a little high, a little hot, a little high. Stein unable to hold on. He'll bring up second in fifteen. They try to he tried to show that uh, bubble screen out there to the right. Instead, they see they're not they're not. They're, they're going to react with underneath coverage, but they're going to make sure that on the back side there's two, two defenders all the time. You're not going to get that one-on-one -on -one that you got a little earlier. Those two high safeties are just sitting right on the hashes, and they're not going to move out of there, and that's why the little pass over the middle is always mm -hmm. open because you're throwing over the linebacker. Third and 15. There's Here's your the screen to Rob. Good job defensively to sniff that out. It was uh, Bobin and Connors, three yard Excellent gain. Excellent defense. Excellent defense there. Fourth, what do you think, field goal or go for it here? Ball's at the 22. Pretty decent field goal. Yeah. They're gonna go for it, they're gonna go for the field goal. On a fourth and 12, that's the problem. It's got a long way to go. It's going to be a 37 yard attempt for Johnny Wilson. And they've got bad coverage right now. They got five guys in the backfield. Yep. Coach Watkins calling timeout. It didn't like what he saw there. 59 seconds remaining in the third quarter, down top. 2014, trying to make this a three possession, a three score game. They get to 31. Powers would have to score three times to uh, at least tie. Well, I think they're going to go for it now. It looked like Wilson had the leg. Um, he tried the 30, what was it, 32 yarder at the end of the half? Something like that. And uh, he had the leg, which is why it left. See, the ball's on the 22 yard line. So if you kick the field goal and he misses, you're going to get the ball back on the 20. So it's, it's a gamble. I mean, it, and the, the odds are not that good. So now they're going to go for it. And the officials are not prepared to go for it. No, they still think it's going to be a field goal. They still think it's going to be a field goal. And so to now timeout powers because they were expecting a field goal. Okay. It's, we're wearing out the timeouts. <laughs> yeah, just uh, wearing them out. And gave the officials a chance to get back into position. <laughs> I know. And so I expect, I don't think they'll go back to the uh, field goal try here. I don't think they'll go for it. So we'll see what they come up with now. On this fourth and 12, What, uh, what do you expect to see here? I, I will tell you that any pass that's not over the middle is not going to make it. That, that's the weak spot of the defense. you got spread. you got trips to the right, one-on-one -on -one to the backside. Nobody helping out on this defender out here. Now they brought Quick somebody. In motion. Rolls and left. It, throws deep. He's got a man. Oh, he drops it, a flag on the play. It's going to be interference. It was a very good call. Very good call. He was open, and the defender hit him before the ball got there. Which, of course, will be an As a de old defense first. back coach, <laughs> I think it was an excellent play by the defender, but yeah. it was interference. It'll be automatic first down. Man, just threw it up to see if Cook can make a play. We'll All see right, it again so we'll here. Take a look at it. And there's Cook in motion. 
great pass by Mann. Really a, a very difficult pass. He throws the ball down the field here, and there's the interference right there. Pushed him right before the ball got Rear there. on the legs. As I said, it was a, a very good defensive play. Now, well, end it was of the gonna be, It was going to be a touchdown. The rule is if it's a touchdown and you can't get there, interfere. That's, well, it that, was that's gonna the be best a you're going to do. It was going to be a touchdown. So it's not an automatic first down on pass interference. The sticks show fourth and one. We must have another timeout. <laughs> These couple of plays have been a long time coming. It's been this is the third time out. The coach is very upset. He's out onto the field telling the officials the what for. I can understand why he's doing it. So instead of fourth and twelve, it'll be fourth and two. And here we go. Fourth and two. I have a I think man's gonna keep it here. Here comes the crossbuck. Here comes the stunner. They can't off. He keeps it. Sheds one tackler. Try to get the edge. Dives. What a play by Bruce Mann. What a play by Mann. He was dead to rights. They had him in the backfield. They called the stunt correctly. You'll see it right here. Here comes the stunner. Untouched. And he was just, he didn't go after the quarterback initially. He decided to go after Wilson, and now he's, man's got the first down. That, that was, was a, a monster play right there. That, was a, that might be the play that determines the ball game right there. That was a great football play by a great football player. Just had a nose, knew what he had to do, and got it done. Across to uh, Cook this time. Cook Cross buck for um, probably no gain. Clock is running, about 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. <clears throat> that will probably just let this one run out here. They're going to let the quarter run out. We'll flip ends of the field here at Midland Community Stadium, the Dow High 2015 homecoming game. And uh, next week we'll bring you the the Midland High homecoming game. But Coach, uh, we're going to be bringing the, the action to MCTV. You're not going to be with us next I, week. What's going on? I will not on? be with you. Uh, our... 1965 National Championship team at uh, Michigan State is having their reunion. And State football team. Yes, and uh, we're having a dinner on Friday night honoring the team, and then Saturday on the field honoring the team again. Yeah, nice. And it's going to be a great weekend, yes, huh? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yeah, congratulations. A little golf outing on Thursday. Is it? Yeah. Oh, this is a... A long weekend. I'll either have a lot of money or no money. <laughs> It'll be great to get back with some of your old teammates. Uh, who, who you expect to see there? Well, unfortunately, many of them have passed away. Some mm -hmm. of the bigger stars, uh, Bubba Smith has passed away, and uh, George Webster has passed away, and Charlie Thornhill has passed away. And those, those were all great All-Americans for us. But Gene Washington, Steve Jude, who lived in Midland for mm -hmm. many years, was our quarterback. All right. Uh, so there'll be uh, you know uh, there'll be some great players there, and it, it'll be good to see all the guys again. Excellent, that'll be great. A quick out to Wilson. He's gonna try to get the edge. Still on his feet. Whoa, nice job, Wilson. And so you mentioned some of those guys. What position did you play? Most of the time, left out. <laughs> did you <laughs> left? <laughs> I was a rover back, defensive yeah. back. Okay. 
<laughs> I had the dubious distinction of uh, being a backup to George Webster, who ended up being not, not only a great player, but the greatest linebacker in the history of football. So, uh, or at least huh? voted as that. Uh, uh -huh. so nice. he, and he was a great player. So yeah. I, have, I have no, I love my time at Michigan State. I'd love my time here in Midland. <laughs> Here we go, third and goal from the, the three. Man, back to pass, looks for Rob, caught it! What a great one-handed one grab. One-handed grab, what a catch. Reached out with what a big a mitt. Catch. Hauled it in. Now, remember what we talked about. What is gonna happen after that long delay? Right. Powers comes out, and I don't know what they were running, and now Dow drives down the field, and really, this is a, a, a Great catch. Watch this one arm catch. Good block nice, in the back easy field. toss. Wide open. Don't make it hard, but look at that. Look at that. That is a whale of a catch right there. Nice. Huh? Nice. Mike wow, Rob. that's impressive. Excellent. Very impressive. And Wilson for the extra point. It is up and good. Just like that. 35 14. Dow high. Back in control here. And the play that made it right there. Raw, uh, back. Getting the first going down. Going down there, getting the first down fourth. by man when when he was the dead linebacker to is in his face in the backfield. He was dead to rights. He had a man making that play. He we'll take back a look down. at it again, and you're going to see a nice, smooth, easy movement. Good job by Johnny Wilson, Wilson picking up comes the linebacker. back and picks up the. What a job by Johnny Wilson right there. Yeah, oh, and look at that catch. That's, that's, a, that's a highlight play. That's beautiful. <laughs> a flag. Okay, what? What? <laughs> this is a little confusing. There. Was that on the extra point? That must have been a flag on the extra point, I guess. We either didn't see that or that was the latest flag in football history. I mean, Powers was lined up for the kick return. And, wow, all right. Well, Wilson will have to do it again. It's back to 34-14. Wilson's kick this time up and good again. Good again. 35 14. Sometimes. We'll take one more look at this. This is uh, too good to pass up here. I'm really impressed with uh, Wilson picking up the blitz here. And I'm really impressed with 72 handling 55. There's, there he comes out of the mess, and that was Zach Peterson. Zach Peterson, yeah. Very nicely done. Well executed touchdown play. I'm starting now to see the maturity coming in Bruce Mann. You know, earlier in the year, you know, the new system, uh, new teammates, new school, it, it really wasn't. Tonight, I'm starting to see that maturity. You know, like I say, in the first half, he had 142 yards. He comes out and he takes the team down the field on a beautiful drive right there. Ooh, a little pooch kick, try to catch him by surprise, smartly covered up by Powers. We'll get pretty good field position. Dow try to catch him by surprise there, but uh, Bryce Kiddo uh, falling on the ball. Well, Powers is going to have to come up with something quick, but it doesn't seem like it's really their game to fire it around the field. Kind of really need to be patient here and just see if they can get a good drive, cut into the lead, and then take it from there. Quarterback Noah Sargent, it's a senior. Fires incomplete a little bit. Well, you know, you take target. a look at this, you know, we've looked at some stats, and of course, 
when we look at our league, our league has been fairly weak defensively. Uh, Powers took the first game against Flushing. They, they scored 27 points against, or, or Flushing scored 27 points. Powers only scored 11. Last week against uh, Davison, Powers only scored 10. Mm -hmm. And they've scored some points against some other teams. Um, Heritage, they scored 40 plus, and but everybody scored 40 mm -hmm. against Heritage. They're they're really Dr. Feelgood, <laughs> you know. And, and when we would see teams like that, we say, well, the doctor's coming to town. <laughs> You're gonna feel good after the game. But you know, and this is we're, we're obviously seeing their lack of offensive capability. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dow has, has popped too loose now on on yeah. two plays here. Justin Cook with yeah. a big hit right big there. Hits. Big hits. Third and ten. Sergeant looking to run. Not going to get ten yards. No way. Brad Drankpool. Big loss. Now, I see there's an example right there. You throw two passes, and now you're going to run a sweep against... A defense that's held you all night long. And look at Drenkpool, fought off 67 and made the play. Those two linebackers for Dow, Drenkpool and Stevenson, are outstanding players. Drenkpool's dad, Mike Drenkpool, former player at Midland High. Bam, big punt by Sargent. And Cook takes it at the 11. And good right, coverage as well to the 15. Monster punt by Sargent. Mike's dad played for me at, at Midland. He was a baseball and football player. Very good, very good player. Does that make me old again? No, yes. no comment. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I don't know if that makes you older, the fact that you're on Michigan State's 1965 national championship team. If I, that does. <laughs> I was three at the time. <laughs> That makes me old. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes to go here in the ball game. Dow on top, 35-14. Stevenson in motion, trying to get the seal block, and Wilson hauled down. Big loss. That was. Uh, that See did that not time fool the linebacker. Anybody. Linebacker got on a stunt. Linebacker came through, stopped the play. <laughs> All the way back to the nine yard line, second and 16. Our, uh, Dow students checking their Instagram. Man back to pass. No, it's a quarterback draw. And he's shifty again. He picks up good five extra yards. He's just a tough runner. Yep, and uh, more kids looking at, what do you think of that? Instagram, Twitter, what do you think they're doing? Actually, they're, they're just talking, those two. Dave, you're talking to the wrong guy, really. <laughs> I still have a VCR. <laughs> <laughs> so you're t telling me you don't uh, tweet? I, I don't do any of that stuff. You don't tweet? No. I have a track phone. What's that tell <laughs> you? Have <a> track. <laughs> you have the, the phone in your house with the extra long cord? Absolutely. So you can go around the corner? Absolutely. <laughs> still has a rotary dial. <laughs> Wilson and little bubble screen to Stein. Way oh, overthrown. that's a fumble. It's actually a, should be a... That's not a pass. Oh, wow. Dow may catch a break. Is the official he, that gonna, went back. Is the official going to call? He said incomplete, yeah. but uh, I yeah. don't think it's, so. It's, it's a fumble. No, the, the other official is saying it, it yes. was uh, a lateral. Yeah, that's the right call. Dow's had a few of these where it's fourth and a long way to go. Really, if they've avoided these uh, super long situations, they've just been able to march up and down the field. Wilson back to punt, blocked. 
Into the end zone. Kick it out of the just end kick zone. Just kick it out. Heads up play by Wilson. Take, give him the two as opposed to giving him seven. I think that was big Darrell Tolbert on the block. He just got a surge up the middle. Just overpowered the blocker. It's Tolbert. And uh, really a heads up play by Johnny Wilson. If he tries to recover it and doesn't get it, right. Powers get, could get seven points right. out of the deal. So it'll be 35 16. Let's take one more look at that. You can see the surge right up the middle. You got a block. I think it just got overpowered. Right there. It just. Still a three score game. So, not a safety here. Do you like kicking it off or punting it? It depends. And on your kicker, your punter? Yeah, on. Right now, they're going to kick off because he's. A lot of teams punt on this, and I always wondered about that. Depends on what you're, what you feel the most comfortable with. Most of the time, you can kick it further, but your coverage is better. You know, he, he couldn't punt that any higher than that. that. Was high. But now Punt that's on dangerous the run. right there. On the fly was Luke. Yeah. He kicked it high, but not very far. So Powers will get it in Dow territory. Another happy Charger fan. See, that was a 30 yard. 30 yard punt or 30 yard kick. Powers has got to make something happen quick here. 8.56 remaining in the contest. Little flip to Bursick. Up comes. Ritma to make the initial hit from his safety position. Ritma's really gutting this one out. You can tell he's hobbling. He tweaked his ankle earlier in the game. He's a gamer, though. His brothers, both uh, outstanding players for Dow High back in the day as well, Zach and Jake. Heavy pressure. He's got a guy wide open. He's got him. And uh, drives ahead. Huss making the tackle, but uh, Reese Morgan um, kind of went. Made, he made something out of nothing. I mean, yeah. he, he moves the chains down to the 25 yard line. Sergeant rolls to the right, finds room to run on his feet, going to the outside. Inside, still on his feet, all the way down to the six or seven yard line. Great effort by Sergeant. That might have been his best play of the game right there. Certainly made, his best run. He's made two big plays in the last two plays. So he went to the right, nothing there. Takes off, cut back, missed tackle. And now we get finally Stevenson knocks him out of bounds. Now they're back in the run formation. This cross buck. Ooh, good yardage on first down. Surging was uh, Spencer Halbert on the stop. Cook also in on it, but not before he gets to the one. 7.45 to go. Flint Powers knocking on the door. You gotta, gotta give them credit. They're uh, they're still fighting. They're fighting. Not quit fighting. Game did not start well for Powers. Started great for Dow. Twenty-one nothing at the end of the first quarter. And Powers is trying to scratch and claw, stay in the game. Quarterback sneak by Sargent. I think he's going to be short. No, they get the in. touchdown. He 
He was he just, just able to squeeze he through there. Broke the plane. Yep. And uh, down by 19. Did they really go for two here? Eight, eight, and then a field goal. It's 19. So they're saying they're not going to get a field goal. They're going to have to. Kick is up, and it is good. 35-23, 12-point game. They are going to have to score two touchdowns. Let's take another look at it. It's hard for us to get a good angle. Yeah, got, it is. got a little push. He must have been able to extend his arms over the line because it sure looked like he was short there, but the side judge uh, did not hesitate. Came running in with the touchdown signal. Another fan playing a game on his iPad. Don needs to put a, a, a very, we know we're going to see an onside kick. I Absolutely. Mean, it just has to happen right here. You have to have an onside kick. So Dow, should they recover, is going to be able to have good field position. Powers changing their the kicker wasn't out there and does not onside kick it kicks it into the end zone. Okay, I guess they feel they can play defense. Stop them. Get an onside kick later. Well, I guess we'll see. Haven't really shown a whole lot of. Stoppage, although they've only given up one touchdown this half. It was 28-7 at the half. Now 35-23. You're right. Man getting that first down and when it was fourth and two on that extra effort leads to a TD. If he doesn't have that touchdown, we're looking at a whole different game right now. See and the cameraman the, and getting the all interference the action. in the end zone was big too. That was a fourth down. Man's going to keep it. Grind ahead. Maybe a yard. Half a yard. And our MCTV staff doing a great job bringing the various camera angles and our replays and. Uh, Fantastic job tonight. Absolutely. Our guys, guys do a great job every time. They should be they getting do. an Emmy. <laughs> they should, for sure. It is a real plus. Our community, Midland, has We're a lot lucky. of uh, lucky. pluses. MCTV is certainly one of them. Yes, it is. High snap. There's a timing off. Man, going to try to make something out of nothing. And he cuts up, drives it. What a play. Oh, my goodness. That was impressive. He should have lost seven yards on that Should have lost seven or eight. And he gains three. And stays in bounds, keeps the clock running. So I'm make, get a little stiff arm. This I'm going to stay right in bounds. I'm going to drive ahead and get three more yards. He, he's a football player. I mean, and they're just talking about ability. Just he's got yes. heart and he's got. Well, right here is, heady. A, is a big play. First down here, and pretty much the game is secure. Third and seven. Oh, they're a little slant. Maybe go with no nope. quarterback draw. Drive's not going to get it this time. He's going to be short by four yards. <laughs> Not a bad play call. They've had success with that play. Catch him by surprise. I know you know they were thinking pass. You have to punt here. They're not not showing punt. Fourth and four. Dow. Maybe they're just gonna try to try get to draw him off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you just have to punt. Just let it so run they're gonna down. let it run. Call timeout. Yeah. That's it. It's worth a try. It was worth a good try. And it kills some clock. You know, you're going to call timeout anyway. Five minutes. A lot of time. It's one of those games where it just feels like Dow is dominating. And, but it's actually a 12-point game. If Powers is able to score quick, things can get interesting mighty fast. Must have good coverage here on this punt. First off, it's got to be a good punt. Yeah. And he's punting into the wind. As you can see by yeah. that kickoff that right. went up high into the air and, and it just died. And just died. Yeah, it's actually a pretty stiff win right now. The flags in the end zone are, are straight out. High snap. Good punt. Wind does catch it. And uh, good coverage by Huss. Alert play uh, by Whisker to catch the yes. punt. If he doesn't catch it, they're going to lose another 15 yards probably. I'd say that's about as good as Wilson was going to get out of that kicking into that win. Ball at the 45, first and 10, Flint Powers. Powers still fighting. See if the Dow defense can rise to the occasion here. Keep Powers out of the end zone, get the ball back. 4.48 to go in the game. Sergeant, the back to pass. He's got time. Flings it downfield. Oh, that's a little shove there at the end. Be fortunate he didn't get flagged. I don't know about going for it all on the first play there. It's second and ten. I don't know if he originally was thinking doing that or he just got ran out of options and so it just went for it. You Looks see, like he could have made some here, yardage running. Here's the thing we've got to be careful of here, and that is letting him have the perimeter. I mean, it's just, you can't, you got to be able to protect that outside. See, we're a little bit too far in. There you Sergeant, go. Sergeant, going back the other way, he's got a man open. It's first down. He stays in bounds, I believe. Huss is able to bring down Reese Morgan. But Powers moves the chains. The clock does stop as they reposition the chains. Clock is running. Sergeant rolls to his right. Steps up and hauled down. Big defensive play by Dow. Powers is out of timeout, by the way. That is uh, Spencer Halbert again. Albert having a big game, second and 12. Four minutes to go here. Sergeant back to pass, looks downfield, finds his man, big hit. Eric Huss jars the ball loose. It was gonna be a minimal gain probably, but Huss with the big stick. The Dow secondary has done that a lot tonight. Third and 12. Can't let him Big get to the play. perimeter. Keep him inside. He's gonna, Sergeant's going to keep it. Oh, he had, to, he had some room up, and instead he takes it outside. He's going to gain about five, but clock is running. Uh, it's fourth down. Well, this is going to be it. Dow holds them. That'll pretty much put an end to this one. Power should show a little bit more urgency here, but they it's important to get this one right. Changing the play is the coach calling it in. Call it fourth and seven. Back to pass. Under pressure. 
got room to run. He's got the first down, still on his feet. Cuts it back up. Sargent all the way down to the one yard line. Wow, what a play by Sargent. You have, to put some, you have to put somebody on Sargent. Somebody has to be on Sargent. He's their offense. He looked like man on that play. Tried to extend it. Got it to the one. They really need to score on an early play here. 2.45 remaining. Dow jumps off sides. Not only will that give a half yard, but it stops the clock. This is quarterback sneak. Absolutely. I'm a firm believer in the quarterback sneak when you have half a yard to go. If the quarterback can get leverage low, it's just so hard to stop. It is the sneak, and he's in. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thirty-five twenty-nine with two and a half. It'll all come down to the onside kick now. You can see it again. And they they stopped it, yep. and then he just kept driving yep. and got pushed in the back. Hey, you gotta give him credit. He's a competitor. Yeah, he is. And that fourth and seven, he kept the ball. Looked like he was going to run out of bounds, cut it back, got it to the one. And uh, false start on Powers. It is kind of a big extra point because if they get the it's a six point game. If they miss, it forces them to make it should they score again. Point this time is up and it is good. That is Morgan Livingston. So Flint Powers just won't go away, coach. No, they won't. They're playing great at the just end. Just won't go away. Let's take a look at this uh, fourth down play again, coach. See, we lose. He goes back to pass. And so now the linebackers are lost. See how they went to the right? Now they're both gone, and now there's nobody out there on the perimeter for him to, to get. And it, that's where he cut it back up. Right. Thought for sure he's going to go out of Trent bounds. Pool did a great job there of, really got to of the getting half. to him. But. Here we go. Got the hands team out there. You got Rob. You got Cook, Stevenson, Huss near that front line. Finished the way they go with it. Go to the right. Ball bounces high, and Flint Powers recovers. You can't do an extra uh, onside kick any better. It bounced about 10 feet in the air, which allowed the Powers player to get it. A late flag. I think there's going to be a flag on Dow, too. Let's take a look. See on the second bounce, it just goes straight up in the air. Terrible break for Dow. And the Powers player leaps in the air, recovers. Personal foul. And a personal foul against Dow. So they're going to get it, march it down inside the 30-yard line to the 28. What a turn of events here in the final minutes. Total lack of discipline. Number of personal fouls tonight have been just ridiculous in my mind. 2.28 to go. 35-30. Dow clinging to a five-point lead. Sergeant, quarterback, back to pass. He's going for it all. Deep and... It was uh, 
Going to be a miraculous catch intended for Whisker. Kind of went through his arms. I don't know if he would have stayed in bounds. I think he was out of bounds. It was yeah. it was too far. You surprised they went for it all in the first play? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because you know you're, you still got 222, and what you don't want to do is give Dow the ball back. Although they've been uh, they've been uh, doing that a lot, going for it big. You do have to control Sergeant. You have to control him. Visiting crowd on their feet. Sergeant, back to pass. There he is. Under he's pressure. The, he's got the perimeter he's got room again. To run up the middle. Nice tackle. This is what I'm talking about. Saves you a cannot, big gain. You have to keep him. There has to be a spy on him. Devin Anzaret with the tackle. He saved it. Probably at least another 10 yards. Third and two for Powers. Just under two minutes to go. It's getting tense here at Midland Community Stadium. Sargent's going to keep it. Stuffed. Big play by the Charger defense. Stevenson with the big play. And there is Powers calls timeout. They did have one well, left. I guess they did have one left. Maybe they, maybe they did a carryover from the first half. <laughs> Fourth and two from the 20. Sergeant got stuffed. At, the way he was turning, it made me wonder if he actually even came down, but I'm sure it was uh, four progress was called. You see the Dow cheerleaders and student sections on their feet, imploring their defense. Stuffed rise up for this this fourth down play gonna look at it on third and two sarge is gonna keep it and there is stevenson to just stop it and great play he actually i don't think he was down if you look at that i mean you see why the whistle was blown but he kind of flung him around Fourth and two, here we go. A big homecoming crowd on their feet, making noise. Play of the game right here. They're gonna go into that, I believe they're gonna go into that tight formation. Two tight ends, two wings. Indeed they are. It is a bunch formation, we'll see what happens here. I'd be surprised if Sergeant gives it up here, wouldn't you? Fourth yes. and two, man in motion. Rolling to his right, he's got to throw it downfield, throws it, incomplete, through the hands of his receiver. Had a shot at it. I don't know about the play call. He, was in a, he had to throw across his body. Had to throw across his body, into the end zone. From a tight formation. They just try to get some space there by rolling him left. And but he's, he's rolling gotta, left, and now he has to throw back. He just overthrows. Through the hands. He actually, actually, the play was there. If it's a foot shorter, but Dow dodges a major bullet. With 133, they're going to be able to, to uh, run the clock out. Right. Wow. Man, this game started, appeared like it was me a blowout, and this turned into be high drama at Midland Community Stadium. But Dow High is going to hang on to win this one. Wow. Big victory for the Dow High Chargers. It will move them to 4-1 and one overall, 4-0, and oh, and they take control of the Saginaw Valley League Blue Division. Flint Powers, meanwhile, drops to three and two overall, three and one in the division. Mm. Wow, this turned into a, a thriller. It was a thriller. And, you know, you kind of wonder, uh, okay, there was a lot of time on the clock. Yeah. You know, you're down in, in it's gonna be inside the 20 yard line 
A lot of time on the clock. Get the first down. I mean, Sargent has been unstoppable in this fourth quarter. Yeah, he's really come up it was big. A, you know, just a tremendous effort on the part. I think hats off the powers for being down 28-7 at halftime and making the fourth quarter exciting like it was. I mean, it was a fabulous effort on their part. That's Gardau 23-7 in the second half. And that'll do it. The clock will run out. Dow High Chargers victorious on their homecoming game 2015. Jubilant players on the field. Yep. And uh, wow, yeah. Got to give both teams credit. This was just a battle from the beginning. It's an exciting game, Dave. Very exciting. And so uh, as the players shake hands on the field, showing great sportsmanship, they uh, actually, I, it looks like they're going to gather. I have a feeling the they're, it's really a neat scene on the field. Both teams gathering together. I just have a feeling it's Coach Watkins uh, might be leading a prayer for Robert uh, Jennings, who um, went off the field in the third quarter in the ambulance. Coach Watkins, I'm sure, saying, hey, guys, this is just a great battle. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing is uh, saying a prayer for Mr. Jennings. Uh, really a neat scene that down on the field right now when two teams gather like that. After uh, such a hard-fought game, a hard-fought battle, mutual respect between the two teams. Quite a game, Dave. Yeah, Quite sure. a game tonight. It sure was, boy. You could. Uh, there's a. Okay, we're gonna do some replays here. Yeah, and, let's see. Uh, there's a lot of them there today. Is, a lot this, of highlights. It's second half. <laughs> this is from. This is in the first, first half. half. Bruce right. Mann with the uh, touchdown run. And this and is that fumble, fumble, which leads to their second touchdown. That's that pass to a Huss. Yeah, terrific. Yeah, Eric Huss again. with the TD. See what I mean about the center of the field? We really didn't go back in there. This is a great run by uh, Johnny Wilson, getting up in that corner, getting right behind everybody. And, and then this, this is, is the this is the punt return. And this is what I talked about. You know, there's there's a missed tackle there, and then there's a bump there, and a series of good blocks along the way. Here's a double pass from Cook and to Levante Stein. Good job by Cook. Find the open receiver. And this is that bloop pass into the end zone for a touchdown. And you say, what is that all about, <laughs> you know? And then there is pretty good play, but it's going to be a uh, what we thought was interception, Incomplete. but yeah. wasn't. And then here is the beautiful pass, one hand catch by Mike Robb. Who's the? Um, that was a touchdown. Touchdown for the surge. Team. Yep. This is going to be that the big run. Big, beautiful run here. Going to get him right down in there, and some very sloppy tackling. Sargent sneaks it in for the touchdown. And here's the onside kick. You can't get and a that better bounce, bounce from bounce, huh? That little bounce right there. It's a big break for uh, Powers. And this is the fourth and two. Really the play it was the make or break. Sargent made just, just a bit tall for his receiver. Goes incomplete and, and Dow High. Pulls out the victory. And so, folks, we're going to wrap this one up. As you can see, the, fi the final score, Dow High 35, Flint Powers Chargers 30. Dow, as we said, improves to 4-1 and one on the season. Four straight victories after their opening season loss. 4-0 oh in the Saginaw Valley League.
Blue Division. And Coach, they're, they're in the driver's seat in their they're, division. They now. are in the driver's seat. They really, uh, they have a Davison game coming up at Davison, which is not a good, that's, that's a tough trip in the Davison. And uh, Davison played Powers very well last week. To, they lost 10-0, but as we can see, 10-0 and Powers put 30 up tonight. Yep. Gave up 35, but still put 30 up. And, and showed something in regards to heart. Absolutely. So we're going to, that'll be a good game. And, uh, and then the other games really shouldn't be anything until you get to Midland. Yeah, which is uh, going to loom big. It'll be interesting next week, though. You got to go to Bay City Central, Bay City Central at Bay City Central. And uh, that's always a pretty good game. Absolutely. And so, folks, Dave Marsh, along with Frank Altimore, uh, Signing off here tonight, once again, our final score. The Dow High Chargers, 35. Flint Powers Chargers, 30. Congratulations, Dow High. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time.